You Deserve Nothing by Alexander Maxik is a controversial novel written by a former teacher. The novel is told by three narrators. William Silver, the charismatic English teacher at an American high school in Paris, catering to children of diplomats and rich people. Marie de Clary, a 15-year-old student, and Gilad, an impressionable, impressionable student who moves to Paris from Dubois. All three characters share a classroom together. The students are enthralled and influenced by the English teacher, whose influential teaching method really make an impact on these young minds. The story is set in 2002 in Paris, France, several months before the war in Iraq. William Silver is a man who lost parents and wife, who moves to Paris to teach English and literature at an American high school in Paris, France. Quoting from Camus and Sartre, William teaches the class about Sartre's extensionalism, or the idea that man is responsible for his own actions through his choices and free will. Will's teaching method impresses Gilad, who becomes enthralled by his t English teacher, but this obsession crumbles when he discovers that Mr. Silver is having an illicit affair with Marie, a 15-year-old student in the class. Will Silver's persona crumbles even further when Marie starts bragging about her affair in school and she has an abortion. The headmaster of the school gets word of Marie's and Will Silver's illicit affair and brings up Mr. Silver on charges in front of the school board. He fires Mr. Silver. Do you understand what, that what you've done is wrong? asks the principal. But Mr. Silver remains silent and walks out of the room, past the hallway, and out onto the Parisian streets without remorse. The issues in the novel aren't new. There have been many cases on the news and on television about teacher and student affairs. This poses the question, should teachers violate their teacher's code of ethics and morality to satisfy their own carnal whims at the expense of a minor? The novel is based on a true story, which is a bit shocking to say the least. As an educator, uh, a person is, has the moral responsibility to conduct himself in a professional manner with regards to his or her student. And the role of an educator should not be taken lightly. When educating young minds, a teacher should show professionalism at all times, as well as respect, he should preserve and uphold the innocence of youth. An educator must remember that they hold impressionable, impressionable young minds in the palm of their hands, and it is their duty to mold these young minds with dignity, respect, and professionalism and to mold them into respectable members of society. I picked this book up because I love English literature and because it was set in Paris, one of my favorite cities. Like some of the students in the book, 
English was my best subject. I had a lovely teacher named Mrs. Ross, whom I truly admired. In my forties, I still look up to Miss Ross as a great model educator and even as a mentor. Mrs. Ross taught the class in a fun way, but she would never cross the line between violating her student morality or go or violating her teacher's code of ethics, like Mr. Silver did in You Deserve Nothing. The narration reads like a J.G. Salinger book or a D.H. Lawrence novel. Several reviewers have been told, have been bold to say, that this book should be classed as a memoir instead of fiction because, it's, because it is based on a true story. It is my opinion that the book can fit into both categories. I felt empathy for the character of Marie as she was the one who suffered the most and was taken advantage by her unethical teacher. I also felt for Gilad, a young teenage boy whose ideals and perception of someone whom he looked up to were shattered when he discovered that the man he called his mentor was involved with an underage student. I found the book a bit shocking and disjointed in places. However, it does serve the purpose of alerting the audience to the problem facing teachers who violate the code of ethics, falling in love with the students.